YouTubers, and welcome to the first in a long while first new episode. And this is Creasel's Let's Play and Creasel's new Crease Ghost Extreme Pack based on 1710. We have a ton of mods here for your perusal. And you can see more about them if you go to my server, creasecraft.com. Click on server configs and enjoy to your heart's content. The goal is to always keep fresh mods in the mod pack. Uh, remove ones that are not working that are unpopular and add new ones that people like. The server is uh, not whitelisted and I will be begging for donations. Um, easiest way to get me to stop begging is figure out how to get me some money because it costs forty dollars a month to run this server minimum okay and this server doesn't have lag it's at least logging in for the very first time under the water like the last so that you can uh, easily create towns with your friends oh good we're right here on the edge of the sand. Excellent. Spawn is protected by 10, so there's uh, that's a 20 by 20 area that nobody's going to be able to build in. I can test that right now by trying to dig that sand out. Yes, that's correct. So. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. And Reed's mini map comes out oh, good. A dinosaur. Let's go see the dinosaur. The Brontosaurus. Tinker's construct is in here. Thermal expansion just got updated to 1710. So, yes, guys, it's here. So, we got thermal expansion. We have industrial craft. We have open computers. Where is that dinosaur? There it is. Look at that big, beautiful creature out there. As soon as uh, Dr. Zark gets updates to uh, 1710, I'm going to be installing his custom mob spawner. And that means I'm going to also allow his mob creatures to run. But the main purpose is custom mob spawner will allow me to, to uh, de emphasize. <laughs> the townie because I was just told that I can't modify the wild so look at that big beautiful brontosaurus there yes right here I don't have to craft anything it's going to step on me and kill me and that's going to be the end of me yes sir how big he is, he's just destroying all those grass. Can't destroy in the wild. Not remember setting. So, okay. And we'll be back after I fix it. fixed it. Just a second. So here we are. My new mod pack, Creechcraft Extreme, based on 1710. We have, like I said before, we have, there's a lot of mods in here. The big one I was interested in the most was this one. The one that involved his dinosaurs. Look at that cute son of a bitch. I am not going to attack him. Okay. Let me get out here and we need. To, oh, look, we're going to start out with some ore, huh? We're going to need to make our base somewhere. Let's turn that sound down just a little bit. Sound. Well, 
that really loud. And most things we're going to want low. away. Oh look, a woolly mammoth. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, yeah. Brontosaurus, woolly mammoth. I bet they're, uh, but they're hostile. Falling off that ledge, huh? And yeah, and we got sea creatures, and I don't mean squid or shark down in there. Ice. Oh yeah, I do have the, I have the coolers mod installed in here. Look at that, son of. Look at. A lot of meat up in there. Oh, you don't want me getting near his baby. So, find me a nice little spot, and we're going to set up home. That's probably as good as any, huh? Oh, yeah, see? Trees and stuff. That's kind of things you need in a home and access to a beach. Let's let's make it down here. Right up in here. I think I have tree crapitator installed in here, so once I get an axe going I can start getting these things down quicker. essentially craft on the fly, yes. I think I have mine configured for the P key. You need to uh, configure these things once you get in here. Okay, now we need to we need to make ourselves an axe. Ah, come on, idiot. Oh, lag I guess it's called. All right. That's a hermit. No, it's a coconut. Now, how do you pick up a coconut? Not like that. Like that. I think I just destroyed the coconut. Okay, I have an axe. take down a coconut tree or not I don't think I don't think that's a good choice you need a contiguously connected yeah yeah there we go now we're getting it looks like there's a dungeon over there that's cracked brick should uh, maybe go in there and clear it out for an easy house. Okay, um, let's go ahead and craft some more stuff, like some sticks. And then, uh, okay. sword and very good okay so pickaxe alrighty 
good to have some protection. Okay, that's, I'm not sure that's an actual dungeon per se, just something that probably marks some uh, spawn or something. Oh, this is a witch's coven circle thing. See something? Yeah, there's two little stone or something under there. In there. And there's like some gas or. Yeah, there it is. Monster. It's, monster. it's got witches in it. Yeah. Okay. And there's a witch. I do not think she's. I'm not sure. Is she? skills she'll uh, trade with you oh there's something over there what is that that's a farlander house I'm sure of it oh yeah that means I got the farlander guardians and they're gonna kick my ass okay so that'd be a good way to get some ender pearl starting out okay Let's make our home right here on the beach. So, this is at the start of what? Some kind of ravine? That's, that's just sand just waiting to fall in, isn't it? Why didn't it fall in? That is weird, okay. Um, something is actually holding that up. Sun's still up in the sky. We don't really have anything yet, so might as well if we can talk to a far lander. Yeah, I am being mewed. Okay, he don't like me. Oh, fuck. and lag by exploring the shit out of things. Um, and recording at the same time, of course. oil. Okay. Ooh, that better be sky stone. Because if it is, this would be probably a good place to start because then we can use that to get our applied energetics operational. But it's probably not. It's slate.
sun's starting to go down and I haven't built anything yet. I'm starving to death and I ran past the sheep. I could have harvested them. see us uh, dying at the hands of some creature and making our way back to spawn. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, we just left. Internal server error.